Hi guys, how y'all doing? I'm here with my niece Olivia and my great niece Annabeth. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about her. And say hi Annabeth. Hi. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited that they're here with me to do this Dollar Tree haul. And you guys, all day at work today, I've just been like, I cannot wait to get home. I can't wait to get home because I want to show you all what I got so bad. Um, so yes, let's just, oh, and also I hit 700 subscribers. So this will also be the hashtag 700 Yay! giveaway. So make sure you comment down below and in, in a couple weeks I will announce the winner. Um, so yay. Uh, thank you guys so much for all your support. And the winner is going to get to pick from a twenty a $25 gift card um, from either Dollar Tree, Aldi, or Amazon. So, so cool. Um, Alright, so the first thing I want to tell you guys is if you watched my last haul, I think it was, I found some of this um, hard candy lip oil and that's what I'm wearing right now and I love this stuff so if you are out there and you find it grab some of that up for sure and all right so got quite a few bags to show you so let's just get into it uh, the first couple bags are kind of not all that exciting um, I picked up another pair of these compression socks and I have been pretty much wearing them every day because I deal with um, my calves and ankles swelling and my feet. And I don't know what's going on. I have a doctor appointment this week, so maybe we need to adjust some of my medications. But anyhow, these fit really good. I have pretty muscular calves, so I was a little skeptical about whether they were going to be too tight. But these feel really great and they definitely just take some of the pressure off my legs and they've been really comfortable. So yes, picked some of those up and just needed some band-aids so mm -hmm. nothing too exciting. There's 20 of these and these are the knuckle and fingertip kind. And picked up some bread and butter chips. This is a 17 fluid ounce jar of those. And also picked up some of the Pampa brand Sweet Relish, and this jar is 12 ounces of that. And I picked up some seeds because um, sometime this week I'm going to start getting my seeds planted and put in my greenhouse. Uh, so so excited about the garden getting started. And let me know if you guys are interested, and maybe I'll do like a video showing you how I get my seeds planted and. Um, show you my little setup for my indoor greenhouse. So let me know that in the comments down below if you're interested in seeing that. But I picked up some summer squash and some cauliflower, some green beans, and some rainbow Swiss chard. So yes. Go to Dollar Tree for some seeds because it's a pretty good price for a dollar. And it says that their seeds are always 100% non-GMO, which is something I look for. So, pretty cool. And where's my other not exciting bag? But I'll still show you because light bulbs are a good deal at Dollar Tree. They are so expensive at like Kroger's. Um, even Walmart, our local kind of grocery store is Meyer, and they can be pretty pricey. So there's two LED 60 watt bulbs, and these are the Sunbeam brand for a dollar. And I personally find that the Sunbeam Sunbeam brand of light bulbs um, is just fine. They hold up, they last, and so yeah, good deal. And okay, now this next thing I'm going to show you. Um, this is going to be a shout out to all of you who seem like you can't find stuff, um, you're not seeing some of the same stuff that uh, I have been hauling or others have been hauling. Um, I'm telling you guys, I, I see things all the time on other people's videos and I'm just like, I'm never going to find it. I give up. Um, yeah, but... I finally found the mother load of the silicone um, 
one of them's like a slotted mm -hmm. spatula and then they had the spoons and then they had the regular silicone spatulas these are so great for nonstick pans that you do not want to get all scuffed up and these are really nice quality they are bamboo handles um yes yeah, so i was just so happy and these do these are the ones that can withstand heat um where did it say it i know it said it on one of these oh up to 400 degrees and they are dishwasher state um dishwasher safe the handles they say to hand wash so these do pop off i think is that what it says maybe my Maybe I need glasses. <laughs> Removable silicone head, dishwasher safe, bamboo hand handle, wash hand wash only. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so these you can put in the dishwasher. Oh, that one doesn't work well. And yeah. So I picked up an assortment <laughs> because I know I'll never find them again. Um, this is a repeat buy. We don't really eat pasta very often at all. We do try to stick to kind of low carb, but um, we do sometimes indulge. So I had bought these a couple hauls, hauls ago. These are the Pampa brand in Yoki, and I did make these for Matt a couple weekends ago, and these were so good. And you guys, I'm Sicilian. I am picky about like and yoki and pastas and I guess nitpicky is the word and these were really nice and light and fluffy and delicious and for a dollar for a 17.6 ounce package that is really good I like that Pampa brand of stuff I, I, I've never been disappointed with anything um more not too exciting needs more paper bowls for cat food and there are 10 of these in here I uh, found some party cake peeps. I'm not a huge fan of peeps, but I thought we would put these in the Easter basket for uh, Lily and she might like them. They were cute. Mm -hmm. they were cute. Aren't they cute? Mm -hmm. All right, now I think I'm getting to some of the good stuff that oh I was God. so happy to find. So the first thing is um, this little sign here that says, Bless This Nest. And I don't even care that it's all squished together like that. It's still super pretty. And some of the stuff I did plan on giving you. So, Olivia. <gasps> Yay! This sign is yours. They had some other ones, but so I didn't really care for them. Yeah, this was my favorite one. Yeah, and I've been like super decorated. Oh, really. um, and then I found these mirrors. I thought these were really mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. They're just the white matte mirror and they do have the little hanging doodads on the back so i picked up a couple of those i mean those are so cute and then you're you're gonna freak out you are gonna freak out i'm already freaking out <gasps> you guys look at how cute that is so cute it's so cute and if you didn't want the black frame you could get some um, spray paint and do like a white matte frame but for a dollar for a dollar that is just so cute I mean Dollar Tree is that for her? they are <laughs> driving me nuts <laughs> um, so from this one here and I thought it was just so beautiful love grows here I love that it's like black and white and fades into grays. It's like really simple, but really just beautiful. I love that. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. And then we found another Moo Moo. Oh, it's so cute, you guys. So pretty. So really pretty. And I don't care for the frame on this, so I would spray paint it. Um, I don't know what you're going to do with it. Yay! <laughs> I do have some chalk white spray paint downstairs, though. 
And then I found this really pretty butterfly. I think I'm going to put this in my bedroom. And I just, I like how it's square. I like that they have different styles of the signs. Like this one here is more of an oblong oh line. And look at how cute its face is. So these kind of go together. And I just thought they were so adorable. Yeah. And they totally made me think of you. But I am keeping this one because I just love it. So, you guys, get in there and look. Thankfully, I had Matt with me because the boxes of these pictures, they probably just put them out, but they were up on a top shelf. And, yeah, bad things happen when... I have to reach for stuff really high. So luckily he was with me and I just went through and you guys in each box there was only one of those cow pictures in each box. So I know that they are going to be you know a super hard thing to find and I just felt so lucky that day. I probably should have played the lottery. I really. Alright so found some more picture frames. Again oh so cute look at that you guys I just love it these are all gonna be four by sixes and I just love how it has that you know wood type of background thank you and enjoy the little things and then they had this one in the gray and white which I really really loved and this one says grateful thankful and blessed and then this one says, begin each day with a grateful heart. Take your boobs off. And I loved this one so much. I like the gray and the black. I like this one too, but these are my favorite. And then I found this frame for my kitty pictures. And I picked up two, one for Maddie and one for Joker. And these are like, well, maybe not. They feel like wood, but... They're pretty nice. And we're kind of almost done. <laughs> oh, I found this sign and I thought this was really cool. It just says family. And this one is wood. And again, they had a couple other ones like this, but I liked the one that said family. And... They have these cute little loofah scrubbers, and they had the little pig, and then they had a unicorn, and the back of them is like, you know, a loofah exfoliating type of scrubber, so those I just cute. thought those were so cute. <gasps> oh, I love this one. In the <laughs> and then I found... I went to back to the Dollar Tree that had all the new crafting stuff in the Crafter Square. And I'm so, so glad I did because I found some more things that, again, were on my wish list. So, uh, what do I want to do? Um, found this really pretty cross, and it does have a light in it. And these are the ones that you paint yourself, so you can make it look however you want. They had a couple other cross designs, but I just thought that, that one so was really, really pretty. So cool. picked that up. And then I found some of the um, metal word signs. And I picked up, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Maybe I can do it like that. The one that says home. Home. <laughs> And then one that says family. And these are really, really nice size. And they're pretty decently thick for a dollar. And then I found some more stickers. Um, I thought these were really cute. And I thought this was really pretty. I want to keep those stickies. And this one here. And then I got this one so I can use when I'm sending out friend mail. Oh, that's cute. 
And then I thought these were really, really pretty for some of the plain picture frames that I have. I thought these would be, be really cool to um, decorate them and just make them look more bougie. <laughs> and they had these stickers. I really love the look of them. I, you probably can't really tell, but they are kind of raised. And then I thought mm -hmm. these were cool with some of these stickers been hauling that are just flowers. Kind of make your own flower pot. And I was really happy I found some of these for the wine glasses. So I picked up the anchor. Yeah, those are so and cool. I thought this one was really pretty. If you were putting together a gift for like a wedding or something, um, these that would be just really pretty to put on a set of glasses. And then I picked up the dream catcher. I have a dream catcher. And then I just thought these were really cute. So I picked those up. She's getting so excited. <laughs> And then I found kitty, kitty, these, kitty, and I thought kitty, kitty, kitty. those were just really, really pretty with the gemstones in there. I mean, they look, you know, like higher end type of stickers. And then I found some more of the laser cut wood pieces, and I thought those were really cute. And there are, um, what is it? There's two of each kind in here. So again, for a dollar, I know those are a lot more at like Michael's. And I thought these were really pretty too. And I found one more fairy garden piece and that was a little pink teapot. I thought that was so cute. That was really cute. And I think that's it with like the decor and the stickers. I have a couple more things. I found some spoon rests. I got a black and a white one. And these are like a plastic, but they're pretty weighty. They're really nicely made, I think. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Um, so, and they had these in red as well. And then this was another new spatula, new to me. The sticker on it, which kind of ripped off, it had a brand. It's not a Greenbrier. It was like love to cook or something like that. Um, but this one, I believe, went up to, uh, could withstand 450 degrees. So really, really nice silicone spatula. And then the last things are, I just thought these were cute. I don't know who they are. Um, I should name that Stella. I don't know if they're just Stella. a Dollar Tree thing or what, Stella. but I thought they were cute. <laughs> So just these little dolls and I got one for my niece Annabeth and one for mm -hmm. uh, my niece Gabby and I was gonna give you this one because it had brown hair like you mm -hmm. kind of looked like you Aww. Maybe like Annabeth. yeah Thank you. and that is everything you guys I, I mean I just love the decor signs that they are having I'm gonna keep looking out for more cute finds, new farm. I love the farmhouse looking stuff that they've been having, just so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to get to Dollar Tree again Friday. I'll probably take the whole day off because I have some doctor's appointments and I'm gonna try to hit up a couple more. So if you like seeing Dollar Tree haul videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget, this is the giveaway video for seven, hitting 700 subscribers. So make sure you comment down below and I'll include hashtag 700. I'll put um, the rules in the detail box down below. Just go over them real quick. You have to be 18 or over. You have to live in the U.S. You have to comment down below. You have to like this video and you have to be a subscriber. So that's not too much to ask, right? Right? Not too much. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, until next time, as always, stay safe and be blessed. Bye. Bye.